Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived. One more time. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I see to scripture study and prayer line on this 20th day, hallelujah, in uh, November uh, 2020. Super excited about being amongst the people so great as his children uh, on this morning, ready to uh, teach a relevant word. Hallelujah, this is something that's laid, hallelujah, on my heart. So we gon' we gonna crack this open. Funny thing about the word, right? You know, Mose, also known as Moses, wasn't running around with a with a with a with a with a, with a preaching book. Uh, nor was Noah at the ark. Um, they they preach uh, what's relevant for the people. This is not a show. This is not like preparing for a concert. You know, th this is, uh, you know, it's like raising a family and, and you and you talk about what's necessary. If they ain't cleaning the house, when you have family meetings, that's what you're going to talk about. This house needs to be clean and you're going to continue talk. You're going to continue to talk about it until the house start being clean, period. You don't change the subject. Your kids can't jump up and say, uh, uh, that's all you talk about. Well, the house still filthy. And now you finna get a whooping for having a smart mouth. And so uh, we deal with the issues that's necessary. Hallelujah. Uh, when necessary, if that's all right. I pray that's all right. Because uh, we ready to get in the word, y'all. All right, here we go. Uh, let's rock. Let me see how I'm going to get out of this. Let me see this. I know what I do this. Hey, I'm back. <clears throat> I did it. All right, y'all, let's dive into work. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, let's go to Matthew Yahoo. Y'all know this scripture, but I got to do it again. Uh, Matthew 7. Matthew 7, beginning, beginning at the first verse. <clears throat> Because this, this scripture has been used wrong and, and, and it causes so much, uh, it causes a platform for sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that a Shanti? Yahoo? Did I say that right? Uh, Leslie? Sutton? Uh, Bill, uh, Baraka? Brock and Shalom, JB up in here, Brock and Shalom, so uh, Elda and, and, and Yosef, uh, Matiyahu Dawes up in here, and Battle and Fee and Mother, Mother Joyce, Jazzy, Jazzy up in here. See, you became faithful. Remember, you was uh, uh, posting all kind of questions, and now you messed around and <clears throat> looked like you found a platform that you can learn from. Welcome aboard, Jazzy. You're part of the family. Definitely his daughter, that's for sure, huh? Hallelujah. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's, let's break this open. Matthew 7. Uh, I'll begin at the first verse. Look what it says. It says, Judge not, right? Listen, y'all. Judge not that you be not judged. I, I know that... Um, we hear a lot of people say, you know, you know, don't judge, right? Don't judge, you gonna be judged, right? Felicia and then Kim Yana, good to see y'all. Uh, my big sis in here, Felicia as well. Hallelujah. But look what it say. It say, judge not that you be not judged, right? So people be thinking, you ain't supposed to judge because if you judge people, you gonna, you gonna get judged. So, you know, I ask a question. Do you believe that um, 
that you can sin against the most high. And if you see someone else sinning against him, you ain't going to say nothing. That means you're not going to get judged for sinning against the most high. Do you believe that? You, you, you believe you're committing adultery. And the most high see you commit adultery. And you see somebody else committing adultery. You ain't going to say nothing. So that means the most high ain't going to say nothing about you committing adultery. Do you believe that? That's ludicrous, ain't it? You, you're going to get judged for being an adulterer. Period. You're going to get judged. Period. Whether you get in their business or not. Right? You, you got people that, that, that believe not to stick, speak up for the most high. Uh, it is going to clear them from their wickedness against the most high. The most high want you to speak up. Listen, the word says in Ephesians 5 and 11, it says, um, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but yet reprove them. And reprove them means to correct them. Say something, right? Don't have no fellowship with it means you're not doing it. And you're not doing, and you're going to say something. Right? Because we, we're the light of the world. We're supposed to speak up against wickedness. We're not supposed to be doing wickedness ourselves. We're not supposed to be living in wickedness ourselves. But we're supposed to we're supposed to be the light of the world. We're supposed to correct wickedness. We're supposed to sound the alarm. We're supposed to wake the people up. Hard to wake the people up when you're filthy too. So we're supposed to be living it, of course. But do not believe that judge not that you be not judged is telling you to don't judge wickedness. That's not the point. Folks take that one scripture and run with it. Oh, judge, not that you be not judged. That's the only part they say. Well, that's an incomplete uh, a thought. It's an incomplete uh, 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 a position. Keep reading and you'll understand and all that getting and understanding. You'll understand what it's really saying. Look what it's really saying. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. Listen to this. What this is saying is if I tell you you should love your spouse, then of course if I'm married, I should be loving my spouse. That's just common sense. Yeah. If I, if I tell you you should be loving your spouse, I should be loving my spouse. It's just that simple. If I tell you to eat healthy, then I should be eating healthy. That, that, that's the principle. If, 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 if I know to do good, it says him, him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. I know to do good. So not only should I be doing the good, I should be telling others to do the good. It's hypocritical of me to tell you to do good, and I won't do good. I'm telling you to get an education, and I won't get an education. I'm telling you that you should show up for y'all, but I won't show up for y'all. I'm telling you, you should give. Yeah, you should too. Everyone should give to a good ministry where they're growing. That's just a fact. Whether you do it or not, you should. But how can I tell you to do it if I don't? It's hypocritical. Should I still tell you the truth? You can learn to be sober from a drunk. A drunk can tell you you shouldn't drink. Right? You can look at him like a hypocrite if you want. Because he is. He got, he, got, he got cirrhosis of the liver and he telling you you shouldn't drink. So then you would turn around and say you shouldn't drink. So he might tell you, the reason why I'm telling you not to drink is because I'm dying of cirrhosis of the liver. I'm about to die because I drink. Make sure you don't. You'd be a fool to just turn around and continue to drink until you get cirrhosis of the liver as well. He would be hypocritical. He would going to get judged. He'll get judged by the most high still. Even though he told you the truth. He's not going to get a pass from the most, most high because he told you the truth. He can, get a, he can get a pass from the most high and the most high can grant him grace if he wanted to stop based on his willingness to speak up for truth. 
but that don't excuse him from the sin. That lines him up for the grace to stop sinning. When you when, when you're willing, when you're willing to tell the truth, like when you look, look, to save your marriage, love your spouse, I'll tell you. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't love mine, right? I'm judging the fact that you're not treating your spouse right. I'm judging that. You should treat your spouse better, right? But I'm not gonna treat my spouse better. The most high is not going to excuse me from not treating my, 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 my spouse the way I'm supposed to. I'm not going to be excused for that. I'm not going to get away with that. It's good that I told you to don't do what I do. You know how parents used to, that's kind of hypocritical, but they say, you know, don't, don't do as I do, do as I say do, which is still good for you. Poor example, and it might even hinder the fact that you might do what's right because a lot of kids follow their parents' footsteps no matter what they say. But a parent's advice, don't do as I do, do as I say do. Well, if they scandalous, then it's good that you do what they say do and not do what they do. It's better for you. But they're not going to get away with their wickedness. Now, them teaching you the right way proves that they know better and should be doing better. It might even lead to the most high giving them the unmerited favor to change because they're still willing to tell you the truth. Because you've got some women that like, 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 like that grew up hookers or, or, or some men that grew up pimps and players, right? That teach their children the same. A pimp will teach his son how to be a pimp. He triple, no, I ain't going to triple on him. He double scanned him. Scandalous. He's double wicked. Not only is he wicked as a pimp, but he's raising a pimp. He's more respected as if he's a pimp and he tell his son, no, don't be like me. Go get an education. Don't be disobedient to y'all like me. You don't want to go to hell like I'm going to go. And when you have a heart like that, that means the most high is dealing with his conscience. And he might supply him with the grace, the unmerited favor, the ruah, the power of the ruah to change if he wanted. Him being a pimp, he'd have to be willing to deny the money, deny the glamour. Yeah. Deny them brothers that got a sister that's going to catch up with him and cut his perm and break his ribs and both his legs and his arms and blow up his pink Cadillac. But the fact that he's willing to tell the truth to his children and admit his wrong gives him an opportunity to potentially change. I'm trying to tell you the truth this morning. Look what the scripture says. It says, judge not that you be not judged. Get the complete thought. Quit running with that. You ain't supposed to judge. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to judge, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a book called Judges. <laughs> well, we're going to rip that out the book. <laughs> The most high appointed judges over Israel. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to judge. Everyone that got the Ruah HaKadosh that belonged to him is supposed to be judging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, 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 your 12-year-old daughter come in with a 40-year-old man talking about uh, that's, his, that's her boyfriend. You're going to judge that, ain't you? If you ain't something wrong with you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're you going to tell your children don't hang with them. Don't do that. You judged. The, the word says, you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear, right? The tree is people. The fruit is what they do. And the word says, judge every tree by the fruit. You're going to see if they cool or not by how they living. And you judge. You better judge. You better judge whether you should be out in that neighborhood that late at night. You better judge it. You better, better look if you should clench your purse or not or hurry up and pull off <laughs> before they get closer. And you're going to look at them and make a judgment call, ain't you? Listen, son, bring in that girl with a mini skirt so short you can see her navel through the bottom of the skirt. You better judge. You better, son, what are you doing? What you mean it's your fiance? Boy, if you don't judge not that you be not judged, let's get to understanding. Listen, y'all, judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, right? You know, you know what's right. You shall be judged. You know what's right, so that's your bar. That, 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 that's what he could judge you on, because you know better. 
For, 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 for with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And what measure you meet, it shall be measured you to get. You got a standard in you. You should be living that standard. That measurement. Yeah, you deep. Well, then you should be living deep. You understand what's going on. Then you should be moving in that understanding because it's going to be measured to you again. Look what the third verse say. It's a complete thought, y'all. Don't just take one scripture and hit the fence. And all thy getting, get an understanding. Look what it say. It say, and why beholdest thou the mote that's in thy brother's eye? Look. Why are you holding the moat? Now, look, I, I, I got to explain this, right? The moat is a splendor, right? A little small piece of wood, right? Right. If I'm reading this and it say, why behold the moat in thy brother's eye and consider not the beam that's in thy own eye. So you got a splinter versus a telephone pole, right? Like, why behold the moat? Me looking across the room into someone else's eye, from my vantage, it looks like a splinter. Well, if, you, if, if, it, if, if, if it was my eyeball that the splinter is in, it's the size of a telephone pole, Right? Put a splinter on my eye, it's heck of big because I can see it. It's right on top of my eye. So it's the size of a telephone pole from my vantage. From your vantage, it looks like a molt. It looks like a splinter. In other words, I, I see you from across the room. You're living inside of you. I'm looking at you from across the room, and I'm trying to help you. It's hard for me to look at the splendor in your eye, and I got the same splendor, which is the size of a telephone pole, from for, for my vantage. Because I know me. I know the wrong. I know my shortcomings. I tell you, you shouldn't steal, but I'm a thief. Right? I'm looking at a splendor in your eye about you stealing, but I know I'm a thief. It's hypocritical. It makes me a, a hypocrite. That I know the word of the most high. I know the standard of the most high. I understand the will of the most high. And I understand it well enough to tell you. To instruct you. But I do not know it enough to tell myself. That's hypocritical. Now we're getting somewhere. So I'm going to start at one again because it's all it all comes together. Judge not that you be not judged, right? Judge not that you be not judged, right? Don't set a standard, right? Don't set a standard for someone else because it's going to be applicable to you is what that's really saying. For with what judgment you judge, this the, me this the measurement. For what judgment you judge, you, I know that that's wrong. I know you shouldn't have said that. I know you shouldn't be doing that, right? For what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. I'm going to be judged by what I'm telling you because it's proven that I know it. Even if I don't say it, I'm still going to get judged. Don't get it twisted. I'm still going to be judged as a liar if I'm a liar, whether I tell you a liar or not. Whether I tell you you shouldn't lie or not, I'm still going to be judged as a liar. It's good for me to take the most high side and say you shouldn't lie. Because then he might reveal to me, well, you a liar. And then I might say, you know what? You're right. Give me the grace to stop as well. I don't want them just to be saved. I want to be saved too. That's why the word says, save yourself from this untoward generation. <laughs> you see somebody drown and, and throwing everybody else in the boat, you know, Th throwing everybody in the boat. Well, well, why don't you get in? You can pull some folks up from the boat. No, I'll be all right. Y'all just get. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> for with what judgment you judge, right? For the same judgment. You're saying, girl, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that. You go home and do it. For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote, the splendor, that's in thy brother's eye, and consider not the beam that's in thine own eye? Look what the fourth verse say, y'all. It says, or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of your eye. I'm finna help you. I'm finna, I'm finna counsel your marriage. I'm finna help you in your marriage. But I'm not, I'm not going to help. I, I, I'm not going to allow no help in mine. I, 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 I'm, about, I'm about to feed you, your household, and, and my, my, my household ain't got no food. Come on, somebody. I'm finna tell you you should read more than I don't read. 
I'm going to tell you to pray and I don't pray. I'm going to tell you, oh, you should support ministry. You don't. You don't support ministry. Right. You got folks that ain't going to teach on it. You, you got preachers coming that is not going to teach on giving because they don't do it. You should do it faithfully. The three times that Israel had to meet before the Most High, it was three times every year they had to meet. And one of the rules, not a suggestion, you couldn't come empty-handed. You could not. You ain't coming before him empty-handed. He ain't going to let you. He'll kill you. <coughs> yeah, you'll be banished from Israel. Right? So you got folks, you got to respect it. They ain't going to teach you because they don't do it. And they ain't going to do it. Don't even know how. They don't know that sacrifice. They're too into themselves. You got folks that's growing in him, but they're not growing properly. They're not growing properly. They're growing. You got to be patient and groom folk. They're growing, but they're not growing properly. They're trying to find a Bible study that say you, you don't have to. <laughs> anyway, look what it say. Why beholdest thou the mote that's in thy brother's eye? Why? Why? But consider not the beam that's in thine own eye. Look for it first. Or how would thou say to thy brother? How in the world are you going to say this right? How would I say? How, how would thou say to thy brother? Let me pull out the moat out of thine eye. Let, 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 me, let me help you get over the hump. Well, you on the same side of the hump I'm on. How are you going to help? You going you gonna to stay on the wrong side of the moat and push me over? Why don't you come over and pull me over? Why don't you lead by example? That's what this is really talking about. This set of scriptures. Don't jump into the middle of the conversation and run and hit the fist. He said he was going to give me the money. I'll be there Friday to pick it up. Why didn't you tell them that he told you you had to work the whole week? And then on Friday, he was going to give you the money. You just left and said he's going to give you the money. You, you didn't work. You ain't getting no doggone money. You said you was going to give me the money. Why don't you tell the whole conversation? And how would thou say to thy brother, listen, come on, y'all, stay with me. How would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the, out the moat out of thine own eye? We living in the last day. I hear you. You like to post, you know, repent, repent, and you ain't repenting. You don't show up. You a wall. You hold grudges. You real good at posting, though. You real good at quoting scriptures. You real good at reminding people these are the last days. Why don't you remind yourself first? Or, 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 or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mold out of thy night. I got to post this. This is a good scripture right here. Do the scripture. Post these. Electronic postables. Post. Come on, y'all. Look, 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 blue pulpit platforms full of posts and sticky notes on what we should be doing in Yah, and we ain't doing it. Or how would thou say to thy brother, check this out, I'm finna help you, I'm finna help you, your breath stick. No, put the mint in your mouth, my nose is burning. Put the mint, am I hurting your nose? I don't know if I'm hurting you, because you tearing mine up. How you gonna hand me the mint? Buy enough for both of us. How wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Save yourself from this untoward generation. I want to be saved too. I, 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 look at this. Uh, so Shaul said, said, I can preach to you, but I myself be a castaway. He said, no, nah, we can't do that one. I'm not going to preach you into heaven. Tell me, y'all go. Y'all go to heaven. I'll be right here. Hand me another cigarette. Uh, Y'all go. No, you go. You go. I'm going to finish committing adultery and fornication and being a hypocrite. I just, you know, you know, I'm just a poor little soul just trying to help somebody on along the way. Or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye and behold, there's a beam, a telephone pole in your own eye. In your honor, we got to learn how to judge ourselves. We got to learn how to save ourselves. We, we got to learn how to be a living epistle. People should be able to see our good works, see how we live, and magnify our Father which is in heaven. We, we got we to, come on, y'all. You are not a throwaway. 
You are not a castaway. You are not a voice of one crying in the wilderness. And the voice of one crying in the wilderness is a hot mess. That's not it. That, that, that's, false. that's a false theological position. The Most High is coming to rescue all of his children, including you. And he would love to make you instructor of the blind, a guide to those that are lost. He would love to use you as a vessel of honor. But a part of that honor is you are a billboard for what's right. And you personally are living it. You personally are doing it. You personally are. are a person can see your good works. And say, Yah is real, because I know who you used to be before. I know how you used to be. And I ain't talking about the world now. I'm talking about folks that's claiming him. Folks know folks that are straight hypocrites. Talk a good one, post a good one. You got some posty posties around here, boy. Folks know folks that post good but won't live good. <clears throat> Folk, folks know you got you got folks that got stuff all on their voicemail, all on the thing, all on the they got sticky notes, they 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 getting cardboards, they making plaques and 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 and, and, and their life is just a mess. They life just a mess. And then you got those folks that ain't gonna say nothing because they scandalous as heck. So they ain't gonna speak up for the most high and tell nobody else nothing right, because they ain't gonna do right. You got folks that ain't going to preach on certain things because they're a hot mess in it. They're not delivered. If you want to be an instructor, you need to be a person that's under instruction. If you want to give authority, you got to be a person that's under authority. When, when, when you're under authority, then you get to use that authority you're under. If you're under the most high's authority, then you can speak under the authority of the most high. If you're not under the Most High's authority, then you just a sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. You're the type of person that's talking loud and saying nothing. Your children looking at you like, oh, my mama's a hypocrite. My daddy is fake as heck. Whoa, that's why PK kids, they say be tore up because they've been watching their daddy all their life. <laughs> They've been watching the bishop at home. They've been watching the evangelist at home. They've been watching the watchman at home. Come on, somebody. We, we, we got to learn. Come on. How, how would thou say? It says how. Like you got a lot of gall. How would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mold out of thine eye, and behold, there's a beam in your own eye. You, I, I, I'm going to teach, teach you how to how to treat your spouse right. Then you go over there and sleep with them. <laughs> you go over there, girl, you go over there and then you end up in the bed. You done went over there to teach your girlfriend how to treat her husband. And then, 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 you, then you showed her how her husband should be going to bed with her. By example, you hopped in the bed with your partner. Now, <laughs> come on, somebody. The, these are the times we living in. These are the times where folks is quick to quote a script. We got to get to the, okay, the fifth verse. I'm trying to tell you something. Listen, the fifth verse say, thou hypocrite. Look what he say. You a hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of thy own eye. Then shalt thou see clearly how to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Do, should I want to get the moat out of my brother's eye? Should I want to help you? If I love anybody, automatically I want to help them. I want you to be saved. But I got to lead by example. That's what this is really talking about, y'all. I got to lead by example. Listen, how many of us, and I know we are, because I'm running out of time again. <coughs> Stay with me. Don't get mad at me yet. <laughs> Let me finish first, then get mad. <laughs> but listen. How many of y'all is willing to do what y'all say do in totality and then learn how to teach it? How many of y'all willing to do that? How many, how many of y'all willing to get off drugs and then tell someone you should get off drugs and then patiently show them how? Even show them through the, through the, through the unmerited favor, through the so-called grace of the most high, I was able to be transformed and chained. And you show them by example. Then they can see your good works and magnify your father, which is in heaven. Hard for me to tell you not to commit adultery and I'm an adulterer. How about I stop committing adultery 
and I'm faithful to my spouse, I'm faithful to Yah, then I can help you. Then I can start rescuing message, marriages. I can, start, I can start helping people stand with the Most High. And I can do it by example. Because in 2 uh, uh, Corinthians, the third chapter, it says, we're living epistles known and read of all men. You can actually uh, look at my fruit, look at my tree. You should know every tree by the fruit it bear. You're able to look at my tree. Look at me. I'm the tree. And see my fruit, what I do. And then you say, you know what? Yah is real and I can do it too. That's what it's talking about, y'all. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged. If I know better, I should do better. And with what measure, what standard of the spirit I have, what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. Measurement is how often, uh, fast, fasting often is a measurement. The often is the measurement. Giving a little, you can tell somebody to give, but you, you're a five dollar giver. You are, you are 20, you, you, are, you are five dollar a month giver. You know what I mean? Folks believe you give one big thing and then that covers you. No, it don't work like that. No, no, it's consistent. It's consistency. I'm, t I'm telling you the truth. And it should be ministry. You got folks that, as opposed to supporting ministry like they should, they'll let you know that they give people sandwiches in front of Safeway. Because they don't, they don't like y'all like that. They're going to do, that's, that's the spirit of rebellion, right? Folks is determined not to support the ministry, but to clear their conscience, they start going to giving people with shopping carts and stuff like that, right? There's nothing wrong with giving uh, to shopping carts, right? In fact, why don't you give your PG&E money to the people with shopping carts? And then when PG&E call and say, I'm going to cut your power, say, no, I've been giving that money to people with shopping carts. That's on the side of the freeway. No, you're supposed to support home. You're supposed to support home as well. You got a responsibility to the home. You got a responsibility to the house of prayer. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to support, support the house of prayer. And the word teaches much more. Support the house of prayer. Uh-huh. And then the house of prayer is supposed to be supporting everybody. The house of prayer is supposed to be somewhere where you get some food, get a good word, get married, get buried, get encouraged, get the devil cast out you. You should be, yeah, it shouldn't be a player. It shouldn't be somebody that's stingy uh, 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 fl in floss mode while everybody else starving. No, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be distribution for the believers. Folks go against the distribution uh, a center based on rebellion because they're under the spirit of rebellion. But God, y'all going to get you. Y'all deal with you. It, it's not. It's, it, y'all going to deal with you. And I believe it at that because it's just the truth. Listen, I'm out of here, y'all, because this is just a sermon that. But look. Judge not that you be not judged, right? It don't say, it don't mean don't judge. Fifth verse says, thou hypocrite, first cast the beam out of thy own eye, then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of the brother's eye. It don't say don't cast the brother, uh, 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 the mote out of your brother's eye. It don't say mind your own business. The word teaches, I am my brother's keeper. Galatians, the sixth chapter says, I'm supposed to help you with your burdens. Helping you with your burdens is to tell you the truth. And to live by example to help you get over the hump. Then it went on to say, but you got to bear your own burden. You the one that got to get over the hump. I'm just here to help you.